Next in line is Mr. Stefan Reber from Nextwave. He's the CEO and founder of Nextwave, and we are talking about solar energy. The floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Klaus. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Glad to be here. Um, where's the... Okay, good. Thanks. So um, we heard several times this morning that we have to um, bring down CO2 emissions 40 gigatons to zero or even negative values. Um, 40 gigatons, that's a lot. Um, current photovoltaics, and that's the business where we are in, um, accounts uh, around 1% uh, of that. So um, lots of things to do. But uh, those installations which you see here do the job very reliably. So um, there is potential to grow, and uh, you can ask, uh, everything's fine? Um, no. Um, not yet, I would say. So if you would zoom in such an installation, in such a photovoltaic power plant, and you would look for the motors of this power plant, you would find these things. Um, that's a piece of silicon, semiconductor material, a sheet of silicon, um, which uh, is the generator of this whole solar field. And um, this little piece, 40 of them can be found per square meter, um, costs 40% uh, of the total cost of such a solar module, which you find here. And this is a lot. And uh, currently, the technology, um, how these wafers we call them wafers, these silicon pieces, are produced, um, is um, um, very inactive, uh, inefficient. Um, so the problem is um, this, the cost cannot really bring, uh, be brought down um, from the current technology. And you see that a little bit here on these slides, which I don't uh, go into detail, but uh, let me point out uh, what you do in the current um, technology uh, chain to produce these wafers, you start with a very pure material on the left and you, uh, on chlorosilane, and you produce a very, very pure silicon. And this silicon is then molted, a big piece, a big block of uh, silicon is being made uh, with a lot of energy, 50 kilowatt hours stick in uh, one kilogram of silicon. And in the end, on the right side, you cut it. And everybody who, cut, who has cut something with a saw uh, knows there is uh, dust which is being created. And the, in the case of this um, um, silicon wafer, in the classical technology, you cut away nearly half of the material. So from these 50 kilowatt hours or more, which are in the silicon wafer, you throw away um, 25 and you throw away um, 500 kilo nearly of silicon. And this is very uh, cost uh, cost, uh, costly. Um, it has a high material consumption. And in the end, it, re uh, it, it leads to uh, um, kind of a, a blocking uh, point of the current technology. So the current um, costs don't go down anymore. So we at Nextwave have thought about how we can solve it. We looked at uh, the value chain and what we did is um, we, well, we invented something completely new. We call it curveless wafer. Uh, curveless wafering and what we do is we start um, with the same raw material. We end with the same product over here. Um, and in between we throw away all of those uh, inefficient and uh, costly process steps here. Um, and we replace them with our core competence, uh, what we call high throughput silicon deposition, complicated name. To make it short, we save all or nearly all of those silicon losses. We use only half of the energy, and we also have much, much uh, more efficient uh, equipment, inline equipment, which helps us also to save at least half of the capex. And in the end, we are able to produce a product which the current um, solar cell and module manufacturers can use um, for less than half of the cost and much more efficient. So the impact on our environment is tremendous. Not only that we save um, 200,000 tons of silicon per year, if all of those wafers would be uh, made with our technology today, 200,000 tons, uh, tons is a difficult number. I uh, translated, it's 40 Olympic swimming pools full with silicon. So a lot of waste. And in addition, um, we save with our technology alone 50 million tons of CO2 per year of production of those wafers. So um, there's a very big impact um, of our technology on uh, the future environment. But even more, um, we um, can be the um, enablers for new technology. We heard a lot of, uh, around, about electromobility today and uh, the necessity is to have alternative uh, um, um, ways to uh, be mobile. 
Um, our wafers can be flexible. This is a very, very thin wafers, which is four times thinner than what you can produce uh, with the current technology. Um, here I'm standing uh, beside the Toyota Prius in Japan, made with high efficiency solar cell roof. And um, with that technology, 30% of the cars never have to go um, to, um, I guess, uh, to a Philly station anymore. So um, we can open new markets, and uh, there is no necessity to think small, think big. Um, we are currently operating a pilot line in Freiburg. We are increasing the size. Next year, we will build the first factory of 50 million wafers, um, 20 million turnaround. And um, we will be the market leader in the future, and that's where we go to. Thank you. Stefan, thank you very much. Any questions from the audience? So I, I maybe start with a question. I saw this uh, number of 50 million tons of CO2 reduction. Can you expand on that a little bit, please? Well, um, that's a simple calculation which comes from the energy saving we have in the production. Um, each wafer, when it's being produced, it's uh, kind of cooked. The cooking temperature is quite high. It's uh, over 1,000 degrees, 1,100 to 1,500 degrees. In the classical technology, um, we have also a high temperature, but we have a much quicker and much more efficient process. And if you run that, um, the energy which is saved, um, in this example, when we produce 100 gigawatts, so all, all which is uh, produced today, um, um, when you produce it with our technology, you simply use less power. And this is equi equivalent to 50 million tons per year, half a kilogram per kilowatt hour German energy mix. Simple calculation. Perfect. I would not have calculated that better. I see that there's another question. Is that correct? Thank you. I'm Sebastian Waldpro from, from SI Capital. I wanted to ask you, uh, two quick questions. What does this do? We talked about, heard about the 20 cents today in terms of kilowatt hour price. So what does your technology do to k kilowatt hour solar price going forward on the one hand? And on the other hand, where are you in the process in terms of actually proving that this, this really works in terms of, of technology um, status? Thank so you. Let me start with the last, uh, last question. Um, in terms of technology, we, we, we know it's the proof of prim principle is done. We have a pilot line operating since two years in Freiburg on a low capacity. We are scaling this capacity in this moment, uh, in these weeks, to one million wafers per year of production output in order to qualify the wafers with the customers and also to de-risk all, uh, let's say, residual questions on technology in order to build a factory of 50 million wafers per year of output. So I would say technology is proven. We are now going the ne next step to scaling. So first step, um, impact on, first question, impact on uh, um, the, the kilowatt hour cost. Um, there are two levers uh, to go to reduce the kilowatt hour cost. The one lever is um, reducing material consumption, reducing cost of uh, those parts. But there is an important second one, and it's efficiency of the solar module, efficiency of the solar cell. And those two are addressed by us. So not only that our, that our wafers can be less than half of the cost of a standard wafer, um, we also can make wafers which increase the efficiency and um, uh, leave room for further technology improvements which are made in uh, solar cell and module technology. So to make it short, we think our technology can decrease only, um, only our technology can decrease the cost uh, per kilowatt hour by at least 20%, maybe 30%. What's the delta uh, from current technology to what you can do in terms of uh, efficiency? Per, is it any, any numbers percent? Um, let's say 10 to 20 percent, if everything runs well. Okay. Thank you, Stefan. Thank you.